Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am so very excited for the first installment of Splurge Stalker Save of 2024. This of course is my version of Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I like to go through the new makeup releases and decide, am I going to splurge and buy it right away, stock and wait for a sale, or save and just skip it all together and save my money? So that's gonna be what we get into today, but if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Did you see? I'm already trying to like get into the mode and like scooch over. <laughs> I realized I'm like, Kelly, there are not gonna be any pictures up yet. You can go ahead and center yourself. But anyway, we're gonna dive in. I'm out of practice. It's actually been a while since I've done one of these videos. I am not someone who does one of these every week or every couple weeks. I usually, I would say I maybe do six a year maybe. And I wanted to dive into this year because I really feel like I'm starting out this year with, I mean, I think we're all starting out with good intentions, but after doing a declutter of a few things recently and just kind of looking back on the year and knowing sort of what I'm going to be willing to spend my money on this year and what I'm probably not, I thought it would be good to start looking at some of the new releases that have come out. And I know that there are a couple things that I wanted to share my thoughts on. So we're going to dive in again. I'm going to just share with you my thoughts on everything. And I love having conversations with you in the comments. So this is definitely one where I encourage you to sort of sound off on your thoughts as well. Okay, so I just scrolled <laughs> down quite a ways on Makeup on Your Radar's Instagram, which by the way, I will have their Instagram linked down below in the description box. But I just wanted to start from like older and then start to go up to newer. So we might be here for a bit. Like I said, I have not done this in quite a while, but the first thing I wanted to talk about is something that I am definitely interested in. And this is the new Pharmacy Honey Glow Resurfacing Acid Serum. Now I absolutely love the sort of like original version of this, the Honeymoon Glow. That is a resurfacing, you know, an AHA, BHA mix that I feel like is not like the most strong and potent, but it is incredibly gentle. It's hydrating. I just find that my skin really likes pharmacy products. And I just, I was really excited to see this one. So this is now made with upcycled prickly pear leaf. And they say that it has five acids, five benefits, and that you'll see those benefits in five nights. So they say that it smooths texture, reduces pore visibility, exfoliates, boosts glow, and hydrates. A lot of those are kind of the same thing. It's gonna smooth texture and reduce pore visibility because it is exfoliating, which also is going to boost glow. And then I will say that I do find that it is more hydrating, especially than a lot of other uh, exfoliating serums. And so I'm hoping that this one as well will be the same. So this has glycolic and lactic acid to exfoliate dead cells, salicylic acid to dissolve excess oil, and tartaric and succinic acid to regenerate skin renewal. So this sounds really interesting. Uh, this also has buckwheat honey and hyaluronic acid, and then it is recyclable. So they go over the details of how to recycle this package as well. So I think that that's really great. This will be one that I will absolutely try at some point. However, I'm pretty stocked up. I took advantage of the pharmacy Black Friday sale and decided to get some Honeymoon Glow, which I'm fine with. I don't need the new new. I am honestly... I have never been that person that like needs the new iPhone like right away. Now granted, usually like six months later, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty much ready for that. <laughs> so we'll see, but I really wanna get through my skincare. If you are new to my channel, last year I decided that I was really gonna try to go through my crazy stupid hoard of skincare. And so I pretty much purchased almost no skincare up until Black Friday. It was like pharmacy got me and phytosurgeons got me, but it was things that I know that I will absolutely use. So it's not a big deal. Uh, okay, so let's see what else. By the way, I'm gonna skip anything that I just don't wanna give like airtime to. Uh, this, I am very interested in. So I saw Millie from Bad to the Brow do a video on the new Moira Cosmetics. What are we calling these things? These are the Chromalite shadows. So they are available now. I definitely recommend checking out her video because it was absolutely great. I'll link that down below as well. Gotta love Millie, right? These are, I think some of these sort of have that like ethereal kind of wet look vibe that the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows do. And then I think some of them just look like incredibly beautiful, shimmery, shiny shadows. These are going on my wish list. 
I mean, they're inexpensive. They're absolutely inexpensive at $6 a piece, but because it's not like a need need, I would probably just wait till Moira's having a sale. And I also want to just like pick out the cream of the crop. I'm honestly gonna go back and watch Millie's video again. I was sort of doing it, I think, as I was like doing my hair or something one day. So I wasn't able to have my full attention and write down the shades that I wanted, but I thought it was a great video. So these are definitely going in my list. So I see that Buxom has a new release, the Plump Shot Collagen Peptides Plumping Cream Blush. Love a good cream blush. After doing my blush declutter, which that will probably be coming soon after this video, I'm gonna cool it. Buxom is not a brand that I really find that I purchase a lot from. Um, I don't know, it's just not something, like I love the plumping lip polishes. It's just not a need for me. I don't see a shade in this collection that I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have that, I need it. So this is gonna be a pass for me. All right, so far we have one stock and saves on the rest. I will say also today is, I'm just gonna mark it right now. Today's Tuesday the 16th and so far I have not made any makeup purchases this year unless I blacked out and I just don't remember anything, which I guess is possible, but I don't think that it's likely. Okay, we're also starting to see the Lunar New Year items. We have the NARS collection. What is this? We have a Power Matte lipstick, a eyeshadow quad, and the pressed setting powder. None of this is alluring to me at all. I, and I like NARS. I think that NARS, especially their complexion products, I just think that they do a really beautiful job with. This is eh for me. Like the packaging isn't even really all that chic. It's just kind of basic red as far as I can see. Yeah, it's really just, it's just kind of so-so for me. So this is a definite pass. Okay, here is a fragrance that I am really curious to try. I'm definitely cooling it on the fragrances for a while, but the notes in the new Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Tiger Lily sound really intriguing. Now, uh, I did get a PR package from Victor and Rolf at one point with the original Flower Bomb. I have a feeling they were like, you didn't talk about us enough, so I'm probably not gonna be getting PR from them again, but I would be really curious to try this. So. Uh, let's see, what did they say? That this opens with a sunny explosion of coconut milk accords. And it has a sunny bouquet of flowers at the heart with tiger lily accord. And then there's mango accord and a benzoin base. So it sounds warm, a little bit fruity, a little floral. The packaging is lovely. I love this sort of like amber color. I would definitely be curious to try this. Okay, who else was excited when you saw the sneak peek of the upcoming Cleona palettes? I'm really excited. They did a little sneak of like, here's what to expect in the new year. And I see three palettes here. I am, I'm really hopeful. There was another palette that I was hopeful to see from an indie brand that I'm not gonna be getting. I'm sure we're gonna talk about it in a minute. I'm really excited and hopeful for these. However, I do have to say, I feel like I have slowed my roll so much in the purchasing of palettes because I have so many beautiful palettes and I feel like there really has to be something special in them anymore for me to spend my money on them, but if someone's gonna draw me in, it might be Cleona. They obviously have a pretty high price point, but the few lash shadows that I got, the uh, dimensional multi-chromes, I'm, I'm just so in love with. So it's sort of like rekindled my interest in the brand. So I'll be very curious to see what these look like. All right, more red Lunar New Year packaging. We have the Laura Mercier Lunar New Year Blush Color Infusion. I mean, if you're only gonna come out with one blush, this is the one. It's like, they say it's a matte pale nude and they're trying to show it on not even the deepest of skin, like a medium deep. And I'm just like, no, this is a miss for me. It's not a color that I would need. And I don't really think that it's a color that many people need. I think that Laura Mercier has nice products. I'm just like, mm, I feel like we should have done something that's a little bit more quote unquote universal if you're only gonna have one shade. You probably know this if you saw my experience with the one Tom Ford quad that I had, but it's a definite pass for me on this new love set that's exclusive to Selfridges. I think that the pan embossing is cute, but that is never a reason that I'm ever gonna buy anything. Other than that, this is just kind of like ho-hum for me. So I'm gonna pass on the whole collection, which I'm absolutely fine with because I don't need to be spending that. Okay, so Glaminatrix, liquid cheek and lip flush. You know, I love a good cream cheek product, as I mentioned. I really have enjoyed what I've gotten from Glaminatrix. I think that these are gonna be a pass for me though. Like I don't think, maybe if I was gonna be purchasing a palette or something, maybe I'd throw one of these in my cart just to try, but it's definitely not gonna be something I'm gonna go out of my way and purchase the shipping to just get these, but I will be curious to see what people think. All right, a new Sephora lip favorites. I know a lot of people who already snagged this one, the Perfect Pout Lip Kit. So let's break this down. 
This is $34 and you get a full size of the Glossier Ultra Lip High Shine Lipstick in a dusty rose shade. You get a full size uh, Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Lipstick. I feel like most of us probably have that now if we ever did want it. You get a mini size of the, okay, thank God, the Juicy Lip from Tarte in Honeysuckle, which is like a black cherry color. Thank God it's not that cherry blossom shade that is gonna look good on very few people. That was like a pale, pale, creamy, almost like white based pink. So this looks more along the lines of like Clinique Black Honey. Uh, then we have a mini size of the Clarins Lip Comfort Hydrating Oil in Pattaya. I feel like maybe, did I see Jamie Page saying that she really likes the Clarins product? Somebody, I think. Uh, and then you get a Rare Beauty Matte Lipstick, a full size in the Rose Mauve Humble shade. The thing with these is I think that if you can find two of the full size products in here that you're really gonna use or one full size and all of the minis, I think you're getting your value here. I do think that, you know, it's a great way to stock up on little giftables for someone or like break it up into little add-ins for like a Valentine's Day present. That would be super cute. I'm gonna skip on this. I have the Charlotte Tilbury. I have some of the Juicy Plumpers and I really do like those. I think that my friend Natalia said that she was gonna give me the Rare Beauty lipstick because I think she got the set and already has that lipstick. So I'm really excited to try it out. It's just not, none of this is something that's gonna like draw me in, but it could be a great value for you depending on what sounds intriguing in here. Okay, you know I love breaking down these value kits. So the Sephora Favorites Kit, this is the Fresh Face Makeup Kit. Let's talk about what's in here. You get the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush Mini in Happy. Uh, again, that's another mini that's gonna go a long way. That's gonna last you for a very long time. So then we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper Plumping Lip Liner in Puffy Nude. Okay, a lip liner, haven't tried that one. Then you get the DeBronzy Bronzing Drops Mini. Again, I feel like most of us have probably tried that if we have Sephora Awards, something like that. Uh, then the Huda Beauty Cream Coal Eye Pencil in a chocolate brown. Then the, and that's obviously in, is that in a full size or is that in a mini? I can't quite see here. I bet it's probably in a full size. And then you get the iconic London Prep Set Glow Hydrating Spray Mini. Okay. I mean, prepping sprays this time of year, I think it's something that's kind of smart to put into something, a hydrating spray, but it sounds like it's something that's really meant to be put on before makeup and not after. And this says Champagne Glow, which makes me, oh, it's got sparkle in it. Yeah, so definitely before, definitely before. Yeah, that's gonna be one that's gonna be a hit or miss for people. Okay, the one that's in here that I'm like, really, we're going back to this. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I mean, maybe for the people who are like just getting into this whole like beauty sphere within the last like five years, you've never tried this mascara, but otherwise you've probably gotten a mini of it. It's in some sort of set. You got a Tarte set from Ulta, like something that mascara. I do like it for like a basic mascara, but I was just like, wow. Like it's sort of like, you know, pillow talk anything, you know, where it's like, yep, I think we've all tried it at this point. Oh, and it looks like you get the Clinique Black Honey as well, which I feel like most of us either tried back in the heyday or like with the resurgence on TikTok. You also have the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil in the Loose Powder, which honestly can be a pretty product when used in moderation. <laughs> I feel like this set is sort of like old school meets new random things. And for $45, I would probably just skip out on this one, 100%. I mean, I feel like these sets really draw you in, but you really need to take a second to look and see, okay, what is in here that I'm gonna get my $45 worth? I don't personally think that the Tarte Mascara, I mean, that one is probably like, what, $22, $25? I don't really think that it's like that amazing to be worth buying this set. And is that the only full size product that's in here? Maybe the liners are full size as well, which for me is just like so-so. I think honestly, like the Clinique Black Cherry, again, most of us have tried it. If you haven't, you're probably gonna get a free mini in something. The Rare Beauty blushes are beautiful, but they have the mini sets that come out for probably around $25, $30 with like three of them in there. So that would be the way that I would go. I just, I just don't see the value in this one. Okay, I have to say, I love the promo pick 
of this launch from Suku uh, for spring. This looks really pretty. I've not tried this brand, so I am actually kind of curious to try this brand. I don't know. I just am looking here and some things I'm very curious about and some things I'm like, that's a risk. That's a risk. So I'll be curious to see more. When does this come out? Uh, January 26th. So I'm sure that they've shown details. Maybe as we go through, I will find more. And if I do, I will like insert some in here. It's a brand I'd like to try at some point in time. I just don't know that I'm seeing anything unless that's, unless that is a liquid eyeshadow. We'll have to see. Okay, more lip oils. Like, is anyone else like, I think we have enough lip oils at this point? Fenty is bringing some out, the Fenty Treats Lip Oil. They say it's ultra hydrating, non-sticky, and I guess they're doing a lip mask. I mean, I just feel like it's so many lip things. I am kind of surprised because I know that like lip oils were like having their heyday this summer. This is the time of year where I want the lip oil. Like give me all of the hydration now. So the time of year kind of makes sense, but I just feel like this market is super saturated. I mean, let's face it, which beauty market isn't, but this is gonna be a pass for me. Ah, okay. Jamie put up more things on the Suku. So we do have the Liquid Luster Eyes. So there's limited edition shades and a permanent shade. I need to know, I need to know that green looks really pretty. Honestly, all three of these, the purple, I could like kind of meh, but the other two shades do look really pretty. Do I think I'm gonna buy anything from this collection? Probably not, but I'll be really curious. Again, another lip oil. This one's from Summer Fridays. This does not surprise me. Like Summer Fridays has that lip balm that everybody like freaked out over. So it totally makes sense. Is this something I'm gonna be getting? No, I just, I'm I'm kind of over it for now. How about you? Please let me know. Are you still like looking for like the best, best lip oil? Do you have a favorite lip oil? Let me know. This is just definitely gonna be a pass. Okay, here is a brand that has kind of been on my radar recently. No pun intended. Uh, <laughs> Kama Cosmetics. So I, I'm just kind of curious. This, these shadows look so dimensional and beautiful. This is the Skulls and Roses palette. I know that it's already available. Like I've seen swatches, I've seen people doing looks. It does look really pretty. I'm not getting this set. I don't think that this is the color story that I would want to try for my first one from a brand, but it is really pretty. If you have this palette or anything else from the brand, please let me know your thoughts down below. Is this a brand that I should try this here? This brand is way too rich for my blood, like even on a sale, even on like a fire sale. <laughs> This would still be too much for me, but I just wanted to give a nod to the Clay de Peau packaging here. This is beautiful on these uh, Diamond Class Lipstick set. Very, very pretty. Very pretty, very pricey. How much are these? Does it even say? Okay, <laughs> just take a guess. Just take a guess as to how much these lipsticks are a piece. They're $110. All right, we did get a sneak peek from Wayne Goss that he's going to be releasing a synthetic makeup brush set. I am very curious to see this. If you saw my makeup goals of the year, my beauty goals, I guess it would be, I am putting myself on a brush no buy. What did I say? Three, six months, something like that. I just, I just don't need any right now. I obviously did a declutter recently. If I were magically sent these, which will never happen, but if I was, I would absolutely love doing a review for all of you. I just don't see, I just don't see purchasing them. We'll have to see. All right, I don't know about all of you, but I felt like 2023 was the year of concealer launches. I don't know if we're gonna carry on with that, but Fenty just released their new concealer. We're even hydrating long wear concealer. So they're saying that this concealer brightens and hides dark circles and puffiness instantly and over time. So they're saying, you know, skincare benefits basically. I don't need another concealer right now. I'm, I have a drawer full, I'm good for a while, but you know, I know that a lot of people, people either seem to really love Fenty complexion or really not. I'm just sort of like a, somewhere in the middle kind of girl. So it's something that I feel like I could absolutely pass on. All right, if I was in the market for a new foundation, I absolutely would have picked this one up. The Performer from About Face. I've just been really intrigued by this brand ever since I sort of fell in love with their liquid eyeshadows. And I think that the 
beautiful shade range of this like is already I just give them props for this you know I mean about face isn't exactly a humongous brand and they're already doing a great job with a wide variety and range of shades I'm going to be really excited to see what people think about this foundation I know that Colin from Queer Bones picked this one up and so I'll be very excited I think they're planning on doing a review so if it happens to go up before I put this video up I will also have that link down below Okay, this is the palette that I was going to talk about, the Space Chemistry palette from Terra Moons. Honestly, when I saw them sneak peeking the packaging, I was like, yes, the Terra Moons palette. I was so excited. I really do like Terra Moons shadows. I think they have great quality. And then I saw a peek at the shades and I was like, meh. We've got a blue, we've got like two pinky purples in here. And actually I would say almost more like three. I was just like, I don't need this. You know, I know that they started giving people the option to like swap out a matte in case you didn't like the two neutrals that were in here, which I personally like the neutrals. I think one neutral and one sort of more like dusty, colorful shade would have probably been a better bet. It's just this color story is not, it's just not really grabbing me. So I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out. Like I said, I really would like to buy a fun indie palette sometime soon just to play with maybe from a brand that i haven't tried before so i guess go ahead and drop down below the indie brands you think that i should check out their eyeshadow formulas i am i'm just really curious but that one that one wasn't for me all right here is a product that i've actually been really excited about i know that kiki from salt new york has been sort of like hinting that we're getting some repackaging on the palettes for the cream tint pros i have the big, I think it's like eight pan and I have two of the small four pan palettes. Oh, I pulled one out so that I could show. So I have the original. Uh, the first thing that they showed was the individual little pan and I am very excited for this. It looks absolutely beautiful, very chic. Just, and what I want it for is to put my sneaky balm in. Right now I have it in an old Makeup Geek palette thing here. I'm really looking forward to getting this. I think the price on it was really good. I think it was like $14 or something like that, but I think the shipping was almost as much. It was like $9 shipping. I was like, I can't do that. I, I don't know when I'm gonna pick one of these up then because I certainly don't need any more cream tint pros anytime soon. I really would like, <laughs> would really like to get this at some point in time. Uh, I also saw, I'll put a picture in here, but I saw that they did talk about the updated package. Uh, the new shade is black and I believe that it is a little bit uh, deeper so that you can fit different pan sizes in here. I think that was like the main difference. So I definitely see it being a nice little upgrade. Although I think at one point they did have this in black. You had the black or the gray and then I thought that they got rid of the black. I don't really remember, but I do like the idea of having a deeper pan in case there are other products that you want to depot and you just want to keep it in something like this. But it's that bamboo one. It's that wood, beautiful, like chic, kind of like elegant, effortless one that I'm really looking forward to getting. I'm just not going to pay almost the same amount in shipping to get it. So I am going to wait. Okay, let's talk about this. Not a new product, but a shade extension in the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm from Hourglass. I believe my friend Kara from Beauty and the Frizz really likes these and I've heard really good things about this product. I, yeah, $36 for a slim lip stilo. Like, I just, I can't see it. Maybe if I had an Ulta coupon and I had some points to burn through, which I actually do have some points to burn through, I would maybe consider it. Some of these shades look really pretty, but Ah, I just, I can't right now. It's definitely gonna be a stock for me. And even even if I'm stocking it and I get it on sale, I still consider it a splurge. <laughs> I still consider it a splurge. If you've tried this product, let me know. Like I am, I am up to my elbows in lip products right now. So I doubt I'll be picking anything up soon, but maybe at some point I'll use some points. All right, the Natasha Denona Berry Pop Collection. I decided not to pick this up. I really don't need the cheek palette. Honestly, I need to use the My Dream palette. Like I need to pull that one out again. And the lip color I felt like was something similar to what I have. I'm honestly wondering if this is somewhat similar to Velvet Bloom from Lisa Eldridge. Maybe not exact, but I could definitely get close-ish with that one. So this wasn't one that I needed. I do like the tones and that berry product for the cheeks is really pretty. It's just not something I need but I know that a lot of people have probably got drawn into that one, but I decided to pass. All right, I know there are a lot of Pat McGrath mega fans out there, so let me know your thoughts on the new Love release. I'm obviously passing on it. Uh, I believe both of the lipsticks are in her matte formula. Is that right? Yes, which I'm not a huge matte girl. I think that the eyeshadow quad is actually pretty. Uh, it's not a set of colors that I need in my life, but I think it is pretty. 
And while I also think that the highlighter is beautiful, it looks like something that she's done before and she very well could have. Like Nude Opal doesn't sound familiar, but I'm also not like the Pat McGrath like mega info over here. I'm okay, I'm okay with saving my money. I feel like a lot of people are starting to feel the same, even people who used to get like every Pat McGrath release. So let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, I can't go through this without mentioning the Nomad Cosmetics New Zealand Stargazer palette. I did receive that palette in PR. It's actually what I have on my eyes today, along with a little bit of the air palette from them. Um, I do have another video with three looks if you do wanna see more looks with this. I did a full review with some comparison swatches, so I'll make sure to have that link down below. I love this palette. I'm just gonna let you know right now, I love this palette, but if you're looking for some inspo with this color story, I would definitely check out the video. I love the looks that I created and it's definitely kind of like getting me into the cool tone vibes. Okay, let me know if you have tried Sinful Echoes. The beautiful swatches here of this new shade Oracle, or I don't know if it's new, but it's a swatch that Jamie's featuring here. Like this looks really pretty. It looks very, very pretty. I have not heard of this brand. This one is new to me. So I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Like I said, I'm really interested in just trying a few new brands. Okay, stop the presses right now. We have a new liquid blush from Flower Beauty, the Ultra Light Liquid Blush. Okay. Uh, I might have to get this. I might have to get this. So you know that I love the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. These look like they are a gel-based tint. They say that they give you a natural boost of color thanks to the easy to apply gel-based tint. Comes in five shades. Ugh, it comes in one of those stupid sponge applicators, which I'm need it's not like I hate it, but I definitely don't think it's a need. I, I might have to go order this right after I'm done with this video. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I don't know how I missed this, but I might have to go order. Okay, it looks like there are actually quite a few new releases from Flower Beauty. Uh, these cream and chrome or creme and chrome dual-sided eyeliners. One side is a creamy matte, and then the other is a more like shimmery side. Mm, I don't need any eyeliner. I'm very tempted to get one of these. I think that my friend Kara from Beauty and the Frizz would actually like this because I think she uses the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'd be very curious. I'm probably gonna pass on this. I'm probably just gonna get the blush. I'm just gonna get the blush, but we'll have to see. This release from Bobbi Brown for spring 24 is the new Rose Glow collection. So they have limited edition longwear waterproof cream eyeshadow sticks a highlighter and a lipstick. So first of all, the packaging on these is absolutely beautiful. This highlighter, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it because I don't need any powder highlighters, but I would think that Bobbi Brown is gonna have a highlighter that is like beautiful and luminescent, but still very like flattering on the skin. I really wanna touch this one. It is also the cream eyeshadow sticks that just look absolutely stunning. I'm not getting them because I know that I'm, I'm sure I could go through here and like find a matching shade in a regular eyeshadow or even in a cream eyeshadow that I already have in my collection. And I just find stick shadows to me, like the way that I think that they're gonna look and the way that they actually look are two, two different things. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip out on this, but these look really beautiful. If you like the Bobbi Brown sticks and you like something that's got, this is just gonna be the softest, opalescent, slightly shifty, like little bit of multi-chrome they look really pretty. If it comes into store and I happen to swatch them, I will probably try to share it on my Instagram or something just so that we can see them together. It's gonna, it's gonna be a stock for me, but probably just out of curiosity and not for purchasing sake. Okay, I'm neither here nor there on this P. Louise launch, but did anyone else see this packaging? And I just automatically assumed it was Too Faced. Like this gives me old school <laughs> Too Faced vibes. Absolutely, like the little heart cutouts, it looks like we have eye and face palettes. Cute, not something I need. Face palettes just aren't something I reach for, but I was like, oh, Too Faced. And then I was like, not that I'm, not that I'm interested in Too Faced at all, but I absolutely thought it was Too Faced. And I just saw in the comments and I was like, oh, not at all. It's just very interesting. Okay, another indie brand that I have never tried, Bella Beauty Bar. Here is the Dead Roses palette that is coming soon. Again, this is another color story. It's just too like pinky purple heavy for me. It's not something that's drawing me in. I'm sure it's gonna be very popular given the time of year that it's launching. I know a lot of people love this brand. If you've tried their shadows, please let me know your thoughts. I would be very curious to know. Okay, 
I just quickly went over and looked over at Point Click Vibes to see if there was anything else that was worth mentioning. And I think we're good. I think this is a good way to start off the new year. Like I said, I think that the only thing I'm gonna snag is the Flower Beauty blush. I just, I just can't not try it. You know that I love the blush bombs and I have a feeling this is gonna be maybe like a little bit more sheer option. I don't know, we'll have to see. So stay tuned if you're interested in a review on that. And then of course I have a couple other things that I'm gonna put on my wish list and keep an eye out for. So please let me know if any of these have tickled your fancy, I would love to know. And stay tuned for more Splurge Stalker Saves. I feel like we're starting off the new year with a bang. <laughs> So I'm really excited that nothing tempted me too much. Thank you, lovelies. I really appreciate you and I will see you really soon.